Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Bob Wallenberg. I'm one of the pastors at the First Presbyterian Church in Decatur, and I'm honored to have been asked to be here today. Indeed, it's an honor anytime you have a chance to express thanks for someone's life. And today we give thanks for the life of Andrea Beth Miller. And we remember the ways in which her life was a blessing to others. Presbyterians often turn to the words of scripture to find images and ideas that help us express our deepest emotions and to remember the way that God's spirit binds us all together. So we turn to the words of the Apostle Paul in his letter to the church in Rome and he speaks about the power of God's love, how it connects us to each other, and endures through every hardship. He wrote, In all of life, we find ourselves fulfilled through the love that comes to us from God. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation can separate us from this love. The book of Psalms is the Bible's songbook. It's full of poems that express the way in which the divine spirit touches every part of our lives. Psalm 23 is probably the most familiar in it, God is portrayed as a caring shepherd who guides us through the darkest moments of our lives and never leaves us even at the end of our lives. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in bright paths for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Eternal Presence, Holy God, we pray that you would fill this place with your loving spirit, that we might sense the generosity and welcome of your grace. Give us peace when our own thoughts are turbulent. Grant us wisdom when our own knowledge fails to give us answers. Help us to face our path in life with trust and hope. And may the love that's expressed in the life of Jesus be present in all of our relationships. May it encourage us in everything we do. Gracious God, we know that the people who we call saints are just ordinary people who have traveled the journey of their lives and now rest from their work. Today, we want to thank you, especially for Andrea, for the gift of her life to us, and for blessing so many people with her generous spirit. Help us to honor her life in what we say today, and in what we do with what we have been given. Amen. Now, I did not know Andrea personally, but from what the family has told me, I feel like if we had ever met, I would have remembered it. <laughs> Her vibrant personality left an impression on people. And she often made friends with most anyone that she met. Now, I tend to be a bit more of an introvert. <clears throat> My instinct is to keep to myself. But Andrea wasn't like that. She was full of life and wanted to share herself with everyone she met. Even as young as three years old, her mother noticed how Andrea loved interacting with others, even with older adults like her Uncle John, with whom she loved to sit and be with. Andrea had a caring and generous spirit that spilled over onto everyone. One time when she was older, Andrea saw an elderly veteran at the grocery store. Sensing he was having some trouble, she quickly went to his side and helped him and paid for his groceries. Another time she heard the preacher at church talk about how we should all be our brother's keeper. And taking the lesson a bit more literally than even the pastor probably expected, she saw out on the street some woman who was clearly in need. Andrea invited the woman into her car, took her around town, buying her clothes, spending the day getting whatever it is she might need. Jesus once said that he could be found in the faces of persons all around us who are in need, those who are hungry those who need clothing, those who are sick or lonely. And if that's true, then Andrea was well acquainted with Jesus. It was just a part of who she was to gravitate towards those who had some need or were suffering some kind of pain. She worked at the Red Cross for a while. She volunteered with senior citizens. She did what she could for others. 
And her love of others even extended to the animal kingdom, especially her love of schnauzers. There's a popular scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes that tells us there's a time and a season for all things in life. It says, there's a time to mourn and a time to dance. Today may be a time to mourn, but we remember that for Andrea, there was definitely a time to dance. She was full of life. She was fun to be with and loved to have fun. She liked scary movies. With a boyfriend, Darren, she liked traveling, the thrill of roller coasters. <clears throat> she loved sharing the energy she found in life with others. Psalm 23 that I read earlier talks about goodness and mercy following us throughout our lives. We hope that Andrea, in her life, had some sense of the goodness and mercy that dwelled in her. And we pray that goodness and mercy would follow after her and be with each one of us here today. God of grace, loving spirit, again we thank you for Andrea and for the gift of her life. For all in her that was good and kind and vibrant, for the measure of grace that lived in her, for her passion for life and generous spirit, for the way she freely shared herself with others. And today we thank you, Lord, for her family and those who were close to her. We pray that you would give them comfort and encouragement in weeks and months to come. Ever-present Spirit, we pray that you would fill us with the love that connects us one to another and never lets us go. Help us to live our lives with joy and hope and seeking the path that leads to peace and fulfillment. Amen. And now into your hands, O merciful God, we commend your beloved child, Andrea. Receive her into your gracious arms into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints of light. And now may you all go in peace, and may your hearts and minds be full of the love of God, be embraced by the gracious welcome of the Spirit, and be filled with the joy of fellowship And ladies and gentlemen, I want to take just a moment to thank all of you for your attendance here this morning for Andrea's service. Following the, the service here, in just a few moments, we'll begin our dismissal with those in the back.